Hello, welcome back to Quasimor, normal difficulty, and I'm actually doing a lot of progress. So this is the first mission I did off camera, well, more or less off camera because it was a short one. I'm just trying to do every mission in about 10 minutes, and I succeeded more or less, and as you can see, I'm finding AI modules which are supposed to be super rare, so I can complain about that. <laughs> it's so quiet and peaceful when you don't hear the laughter after you die. Nice. Okay, <laughs> are they trying to tell me something? I guess not, it's just the name of the item. So, why did I put the junk over here? The junk is at crafting materials. Yeah, I'll probably have to be super, super... How should I put it? Super organized this playthrough because I intend to do a lot of things, show a lot of things. I think you need about two AI modules for the entire game if I'm not mistaken. Probably I'm mistaken, we'll see. I need more ammo and that's about it. What? From the looks of things, they changed the repair system as well. I don't remember them needing so many things. I basically needed three parts to own, repair about 50% of it. Well, more than 50%, but okay. I have to take that into consideration as well. Okay, that was a nice one. Yeah, just doing some cleaning here and there. Okay, finish the mission. Now let's do another one. I think I should just jump into the next one. Oh, okay, Planet Bridge versus Core World. Now this will be harder than usual. But it's a sabotage mission, which means it has a high chance of giving me something I really, really want. If I remember correctly, if I fight against Encom, I don't remember ex the exact faction, but one of them has the communication devices that will increase my marauder skill. Might be Encom. Yeah, so let's do this one first. <laughs> do I want to be extra careful or not? Well, I think I want to be extra careful, so let's take a medkit. I think I'll just leave the rags over there so I don't have to... creep down 100 bodies again. Eh, okay. Sounds fair. This means I'm not reading more about the missions, but again, this is because I've played the game so much that I kind of know what I'm dealing with, I kind of know who to prioritize, I kind of know how to move. So yeah, it's it's a lot of work that was put in the game off camera. Not off camera. Out of work that was put in the game, basically... How many hours did I play? Well, 185 hours. Not bad, I would say. Do you mind that we have to search all of the bodies because of the way this works? Did I forget to... Yeah, whatever. I guess you should keep the wire and the rubber, for now. You know what, I think it will be okay, but let's disassemble more of these things, because you might need them. We have to go to the... what? Maybe it will tell you at what floor it is, but I guess... They don't tell you now? Magus. It's okay, it's Percy. <laughs> it's the definition of the American word uh, fix your wound with spit and dirt. <laughs> let's, let's just gather all of the things we need and we'll just use them. I mean, if I don't find anything better, I'll just use the bad ones that I'm getting, the items like these ones. Uh, 
Uh, might as well throw that away. I like to make the batteries from the workbench I need acid cable and glass, which is which is weird because they modified the recipe so much to the point where it's not even worth attempting to create this in the middle of a level. I guess it's not so bad, but still it pretty clear that they want you to not not craft these things in the middle of a mission anymore. Thank you for providing all of this delicious food. I guess we can look around a little bit more. Did it say donut? Probably not. I want the plastic collection just yet. Eh, we'll get into plastics later. Looks interesting. Yeah, okay. I really want to have a lot of glass. I should start making glass right away because I have a feeling it will be very important later on. I read on the forum that someone well, I read on the forum that someone complained about the lack of energy ammo. And that's the only way to fix the lack of energy ammo is to get a lot of glass early on. So we're going to be preparing for that as well. Okay. We're going through the levels very fast. We should probably get some spare weapons. And not a melee weapon. Yeah, there's no reason to search more on the first floor. The first floor is kind of like a labyrinth, a trap for you. Get lost. Is the door open? Thank you for your colas. It's very refreshing. That could have been very bad for us, ah, well. Yeah, the same problem persists. I need a buffalo. I need a very, very big buffalo backpack. I don't know, we'll have to start getting the glass right away. <sighs> well, I forgot we're fighting this faction, which gives me a lot of backpacks. And I'll happily take all of them. Forward is one of those factions that is unbelievably weak and strong at the same time. Okay, anyone else wants to try? I guess that's a decent weapon for its caliber. Yeah, hey, this was a bluff bath. On other, I'll keep mentioning this, but on unfair difficulty, this would have been, this would have been something else over here. And these are just probably small rooms. I can eat my lunch. Okay, over there. And this will be easy. I guess I'll spend more than 10 minutes on this mission because I want more loot. I want the chance to get more loot. Look at them camping in the room. Oh, that's... That's another rabbit hole I don't want to jump down. Or not yet at least.
I really want to start my Cosmos collection, but it seems like the game doesn't really want me to do that. What are these rooms supposed to be? They look like prison cells, but they are filled with medical equipment. Okay. It's so tempting to throw away my med kit. But instead of throwing it away, I'll just pack it. I'll get more of them. This will not be making any weapons very, 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 very soon. Yeah, I always end up throwing away the glass, even though I know how important it is. But is it worth using this one? Or no, no, no. I should keep it for when I find the class. Nano rats. Well, we'll have to leave the goal behind. Available trading item, but eh, whatever, let's destroy the robber. <laughs> I like it when you destroy some uh, water source like that and you get the little fountain. Okay, let's go up because this is definitely a station we want to investigate. I told you this was worth investigating. I don't remember why I need the chemical processors, but I definitely remember they are good for something. If you look at Pulse 175 health, he's a tank, but unless he gets wounded a lot. Yeah, these medical rooms are kind of interesting with all of the stuff they can have. That one. Okay, there's the elevator. Oh, okay. I don't know. The first thing is the, they change some of the possible outs for the rooms. Is also better, but also worse. Okay. Well, I have to leave the shotgun behind. Shotgun ammo, I mean. And. Okay, we'll have to take it, that's super important. This is what I was looking for. Well, <laughs> it feels dirty living behind gold bars, isn't it? But I have no other way of, you know, increasing my inventory for now. Inventory size. This is where we'll find the thing we need. I'm not sure if the backpacks are still a very, very good trade like they were before. But my hunch... My intuition tells me they are still very good items to keep. Yeah, there's no way you can play on Unfair on this... On the current map generation. Because you're just going to take one step and you're going to get surrounded by enemies. Eh, I think it's better to take the backpacks. But they stack up to four? Five even. Nice to know that. I will need the laboratory close for an upgrade at some point. I am pretty sure of that. Eh, let's, do it. let's take them. We'll probably end up swapping that for something else. Okay, opening the door. 
And the doors got shut. Well, I guess I should repair my helmet. I hate this room so much because if you go over here you might have someone just destroy the acid near us. I'll probably regret this at some point. I just want to take all of the, yeah, whatever. I don't have enough space for all of this. I guess the idea is I should come into the level with a lot of items. Oh, where do they keep coming from? I guess that answers my question, so okay, I was thinking. But, uh, probably, again, I should probably keep, keep some extra weapons. But I keep forgetting to save them. You know what, not waiting to open the door is actually a great thing. And then I can just focus on playing the game a lot more counterintuitive but that's the whole point of the game you should be able to tank some hits if you have a class that is meant to tank hits and bonuses that give you hp okay. you know what let's just take a few Blood with some machine guns, that's pretty good. That's new. I don't remember a room like this before. This is kind of like a conference room. Nice. Hmm. I guess we should start collecting the energy weapons as well. That was a good shot from Danny. Okay, so we did the level. Well, I guess we are slower than I wanted because I wanted to collect more things. Tiger M's. I guess we're not getting the bigger tigers. Okay, we can replace them. Ah, let's repair that one as well. Oh, that repairs with... What? That's definitely not right. Because this is, a, this is an energy weapon that should be repaired with energy stuff. Energy weapon stuff. Okay, let's not complain about that because it's not really a valid complaint. Yeah, total bloodbath. Again, no evil laughter. Yeah, you know you're doing, you're doing a mission for the Church of Revelation when you get a lot of a lot of hydration option. Lags, uh, one of the worst things you can get. Wait, are the chips actually? Nah, I don't think they are related to the faction. I don't think it's slugs because it's the church. I think that was just random. Very important. I yeah, I guess I should stop taking that with me. Ooh, okay. I guess this will be my normal loadout from now on. Wait, what? Okay. 
Okay, next mission. Now, what about the trading system, you might ask? Well, I don't think we can trade. Oh no, don't give them that. <coughs> so let me, say, let me look at the required items. Yeah, we're not going to be trading very, very soon because we need everything. Yeah, it looks like they need the backpacks, the sunlight coven. I don't think they'll give me anything interesting. Probably it's not worth it, but I'll probably trade them just because I can get so many of them later. Actually, no, I'll trade maybe three or four of them and I'll keep them for a, a bigger trade with this faction. And come. There's nothing they really can give me for now, so I don't even bother. Why are they giving me only 250 when it says... I guess it's because of the reputation I have with them. And I was only going to... Okay, so they really changed the trading system in a way that I... I'm not sure if I like it or not, so... <sighs> Basically, you can give them the requested items and you only get half of the price if they don't like you very much. What does it say if they like me? Okay, so at level 0 you get... Hmm, you also have a trade volume with them and the credit. Not sure what the trade volume means or if that's helpful or not, but apparently you only get 50% of the value of the items and you get in return items that are produced here and it's station cargo. So you don't you don't get what they say they produce or you don't get the faction items now, you, you actually get the station cargo. This is a bit upsetting, but hey, what can we do? Now we know. I'm supposed to do all of that food and water. So, in other words, there's no chance I'm going to unlock another class ship somewhere around here unless they have it as a station cargo. Or at least that's how I understand it for now. We'll probably have to play more of the game to see how that works. Oh, yeah. This. He's drinking soda in a lawn chair. I think we're ready for the next for the next mission. We'll just take one with us, you know, just because I'm too lazy to create anything else. Okay, we'll be doing missions for random factions for random benefits like this. Yeah, I'm not sure if I understand the trading system, but probably that's how it works now. And it's kind of useless to search everywhere else. But I'll just throw it away. Probably I'll end up throwing that away as well. Just begin to Oh, we're fighting again. Oh, this is core world. I don't... Yeah, it's easy to uh, to miss what faction you're fighting in the beginning when you don't have specialized enemies. Crusher. Okay, right, let's get the ammo and let's get out of here. Yeah, the factions tend kind of to blend in in the beginning of the game if you... If you look at them, they seem to be more or less the same. The difference will be in the weapons, in the choice of melee weapons. Yeah, I don't know. I think the trading system is a little better, but I hope we'll get stations that actually give us something useful. Otherwise, it's going to be an even more RNG fest than before. Looks like it's the right way.
I was expecting more enemies to come out of that door. Ah, whatever. Let's start collecting also the cans. No, the cans I don't need. The plastic. Why is this room so big? Okay, fun size room. Okay, fine, we'll we'll use our old rules. So every time I see a rocket lollipop, I'll have to pick it up even if I'm giving away very important items. Yeah, we'll have to use that old rule that I I don't know why I invented that rule, it's a silly rule, I hate it. And we're not eating them either. I just want to see how many lollipops I can collect in a place. Okay, let's get out of here. The first floors are not going to give us anything particularly interesting. You can see I restarted the game about 20-30 times on unfair difficulty. The first floor of a mission can give you... Oh, 4-4, four, four, that's annoying. And give you some interesting things like a weapon crate, but the chance for that is so low that I don't even want to try it. Yeah, we're not going to shoot in some country. Okay, that was scary. I didn't realize they want to throw grenades at me. <laughs> a valuable item. Bosses are also something I want to collect at some point. I also need a bladed weapon to start dismembering some of the robots. Guess these guys only have wrenches. Hmm, what is all of the interesting loot? I guess I'll be getting it soon. So the stun grenade needs two acid, one tin and two feces. Okay, I can agree with all of this. I mean, it's much easier to make the grenades right now if you want, but who would want that? Regular clothes. Got to look at that. By the way, we are not getting any armor upgrades for a long time. Quasimorphic sensor. Wait, what was that? I think we need a few of these as well. And yeah, we don't need that. Oh, I should have chosen to kill all wounds. I keep forgetting about that. Okay, this is a very, very good room. I like it. But do I have enough room for this, these items? Probably I'll have to make room. Ah, whatever, the just can stay over there. Why are these rooms so good? Because you can... Well, I guess it's because you can get items that increase your skill levels. That's nice. Oh, 
I guess that's the entire floor, okay? Going down. Yeah, this game is... M well, I guess that's the way it's supposed to be played, because the developers themselves said that the difficulty is balanced around normal difficulty. So the game is a lot more dynamic right now. I guess it depends on how you play it. Sometimes I'll even use sneak mode. Hmm, yeah, really testing my patience with all of these loot items that I really want to take. I don't remember if the thermal container is needed for an upgrade or for multiple upgrades. Probably for multiple upgrades. Let it also take the heavy ammo with me. Nah, it's not worth it. Just ammo. We'll find a lot of ammo for our adventures. For our adventures. We'll find ammo and also the guns that shoot it. That's exactly what I wanted to avoid. Let's now have to wait until the fire dies down. Do I need to search more bodies? For better loot, I think I need to search a lot more bodies because we're not getting anything out of these guys. So this is why the murder perk is so important. So I think this is all maxed out except for this one. This one. Hmm. I guess with hardened and bodybuilding and accuracy, this is this is actually a much better starting class for Percy. But I still want my Thunder Rats. There's a Death Trap. Does it do anything else? Has being a Death Trap? Nope. I need to be super careful because I am out of food. Am I out of food? Not really. Wait, what? That was all of the food I got? I guess that was a tiny crate of food. These people really love their lollipops. That was very tense for whatever reason. I should have to remember to pick up more repair items. Okay, why is it? This place is filled with fire barrels. Fuel barrels. Let's get the wire. Yeah, I think it's kind of a waste of time to search more things. I really want to see everything, yeah. Okay. Still 
be very happy in the future where toolbox is something I 100 million percent need. Hmm. I'll get the chopping weapon, but I don't think it's worth it. It's going to give me a lot of junk. Maybe? Yeah, whatever. We'll just go like this, it's okay. Wait, where is the elevator that I'm supposed to take Maybe over here? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the to the levels a lot, a lot slow, just because I want to see all of the loot. And apparently this, this is the same problem as well, there's not a lot of good loot, so we can skip most of the rooms. Robot, don't make me attack you in melee. Okay, fine. Everyone just come around the barrel. Oh, we finished all of the ammo? That's bad. Oh no, signal was really... I think they are exaggerating the use of the jammers to be completely honest. Let's try spell pass. This is also a very very rare drop. Okay. Why are the industrial, industrial rooms so empty? This was like in the game. I was like all of us at some age. But I think I want to step out of the room. I don't see any satellite in this here. This is such a good class for Percy because he basically gets all of his problems fixed and he gets even more tanky. Nothing up there, okay. Well, this is still the easy part of the game because enemies don't have a lot of weapons. They also don't have a lot of lunches on them. Super, super needed, super useful. <sighs> what can we do? Well, I guess it's still a very important item because it's one of the more expensive ones you can get. They need to stop doing this. This is a very small room to have a antenna dish. I hate this so much. I don't know why they make them so tanky. You can really have a lot of problems if you're not careful with that particular mechanic. Yeah, that smells like a trap. Okay, all enemies were eliminated. 
invisible enemies. Yeah, this rate I'll burn through the durability of the weapons in no time. What a crazy empty room. Spider flesh, no thank you. There is a gasoline barrel. Oh, okay. Favorite room. I can fully level up a class with the things I found. So, what the class are for this box for? I guess if you find in Pyromaniac, sound very nice. Okay, let's end this and this, this will be the video. It's nice, it's going very well. I guess I was expecting to find more rare items, but even as it is, it's not bad. Get out of here. Okay, I think... I think this will kind of set the tone for the entire playthrough. Why am I getting so many health first aid kits? And another food container, yeah, this will be the food container saga. Yeah, I can't really complain too much, I'm really getting all of the stuff I want. Where did I put a trump? No. Let's put the magazines in there. Let's see the lollipops over here. Okay, I'll have to arrange this at some point, but not now, because it's too lazy to do that. Oh wait, I'm out of ammo again. And I'm using up a lot of shotgun ammo, which is here. You know what, we'll just have to go like this into every mission, because I don't want to have any slots occupied by anything. Are we producing shotgun shells? Yes. It was a nice mission, more or less. Real world was... Uh, oh no, what? Elimination and escort. I really want to showcase some of the escort missions at some point, probably next time we'll do it. But I need to be friends with Real World in the beginning, so eh, probably not now. Definitely more ammo. Okay, that was fun, see you next time, bye bye.